Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can export um, the leads who are checking your LinkedIn account using LinkedIn Sales Navigator and Scalist. That video is divided into four parts. So the first one is how can you know who are the prospects checking your LinkedIn account? Second is how can you retrieve them into LinkedIn Sales Navigator? Third is how can you export them? from LinkedIn Sales Navigator using Scalist. And fourth, I'm gonna share with you a specific template that you could send directly to those prospects to trigger their mind and get potentially a meeting with them. So let's jump straight into it. So here we are on my LinkedIn accounts and one key element of this uh, profile for this video is the analytics, which is private to me. Uh, it's available on your profile, I think for everyone since February, 2024. Before that, you needed to activate the creator mode, but for the past three months, I think it's visible for every single person. So you should have access to this. And we're gonna jump directly into show all analytics. And here you have four different metrics. So the post impressions, the followers, the profile viewers, and the search appearances. The one that is very important for the video is the profile viewers, which means that we're gonna look at the 5,139 people who checked my need profiles over the past 90 days. And they are all below. That's a pretty cool information. However, what I want to know now is among those uh, 5,000 plus people, who are ideal customer profile? Who is ICP? And for that, we would need to use LinkedIn Sales Navigator. So here we are into LinkedIn Sales Navigator, which is the sales version of LinkedIn. And if you are sales and you don't use LinkedIn Sales Navigator, I really encourage you to uh, take the one month trial of LinkedIn Sales Navigator because you have a lot more information uh, like news, alerts, and also filters that you can use to segment uh, leads and accounts. And to actually start uh, the core element of this video, we're gonna use the lead filters feature from LinkedIn Sales Navigator who is actually showing us the 34 filters that we could use to segment as much as we can some uh, leads. So in this video, we need the filter viewed your profile recently because this is what, this is the information that we want to retrieve. So we're gonna put it on and now we can see that we have 3,000 plus uh, people that we have been able to retrieve. That's that's good. However, because my ideal customer profile is not, for example, sports journalist from India, I don't want to speak with Varun here. So I exclusively want to speak with CEOs or chief executive officers who are based in the United States. So for that, I need to segment my uh, lead search a little bit more. So I'm gonna go into current job title and I'm gonna write CEO or chief executive officer. Here we go. So now we went down to 286 results. But as I mentioned, I exclusively want to engage conversations with people in the United States. So let's include United States. So we did 3K to 286 to 41 people. So now I want to have conversation with those 41 person. So I need to extract them from LinkedIn Sales Navigator. And for that, I'm going to use scale list, which is the number one LinkedIn Sales Navigator extractor. And to create 
your account and a free trial, you need to click on try for free here. And ultimately, once your account is created, you would be able to uh, download the Scaleless Chrome extension. And that Chrome extension is going to give you the possibility to have that particular button on your LinkedIn sales navigator search. And once you click on that button, as I'm going to do it now, you're going to be redirected to scale list and the export of the 41 leads is starting. So here is the search that we just uh, extracted from LinkedIn sales navigator. So you see, we can find the 41 uh, leads that we had in the LinkedIn sales navigator search. Among them, we get uh, 22 valid emails and seven risk emails. Take into consideration that when an email is marked as risky, usually 20 to 30% of those emails are actually valid. So we get more than 50% um, of valid emails in that particular extract. So now you're going to tell me, okay, how do I export that particular uh, data? to put it into, let's say, a LEM list um, sequence. So you can just click on export CSV and you can go into either all leads or export valid emails only, taking into consideration that some of the prospects here uh, don't have uh, emails. But for the purpose of that exercise, I'm gonna export all the leads. So this is our export. So you have different columns of data that we retrieve uh, whenever we export the, the information, the LinkedIn URL, sales navigator profile URL, the contact detail information, such as first name, last name, job title, companies, et cetera, et cetera. We can also know if the profile as a LinkedIn premium account or no, because the N is for no and the Y is for yes. The website of the accounts and the email of the person, as well as the email status of the, of the person. So that's pretty much it uh, regarding the data. So now we're going to jump into the template that you could use to reach out directly to the prospects who um, checked your LinkedIn account. So here we are back into Notion and that's the template I would use um, to reach out to the prospects. So, hey, first name. So let's say the prospect is called John. So, hey, John. I noticed you recently checked my LinkedIn profile, which is an observation. Um, anything related to, let's say, lead generation that I can help you with. So the reason why I mentioned lead generation is because this is my topic, lead generation. And the I would say main reason that John would have checked my LinkedIn profile is because I'm posting daily only on lead generation, business development, and sales, and it's related to my personal brand on LinkedIn. And then you write your name, which could be Arno. And then as a PS, you can share uh, a blog post that is related to, let's say, uh, cold calling, uh, which is a subtopic of lead generation that they might find interesting. So it could be, hey John, I noticed you recently checked my LinkedIn profile, which is the observation, anything related to the generation that I can help you with, because it's my topic, or no, PS, I read this blog post about cold calling, you might find this interesting. And the reason why we write that particular PS uh, with that particular blog post is because it's always better to give, to share value to somebody who now knows you because it checked uh, your LinkedIn profile. And it's just a little bit of value that uh, they might find relevant if the topic resonates to them. So that's it for today's videos. I hope you have learned 
uh, a few things uh, regarding how to retrieve um, and extract the people who are checking your LinkedIn profile. Feel free to let some comments uh, down below and subscribe uh, to the channel if you have not. And I see you in another video. Take care, guys. Peace.